So let's revisit this operational trust and technical trust, Shelley. I, I, I talked about that at the end. Um, this is really, in my eyes, what confidential computing is all about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I think sometimes most of us don't break these down in our heads, but operational trust is the thought that better and regular training and stricter rules and compliance and certification, all of those things, those are things are important. We've worked with many clients in the space of, you know, providing training and, 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 and compliance and all that sort of thing. Those things are important. But today, operational trust alone is not enough. And, and so th then we'll shift and talk about technical trust. And, and that's really where we need to head. Technical trust is the focus on removing people from the security equation and deploying technology solutions rather than the training and the processes and the compliance and the certification. And, and the industry as a whole needs the ability to make it possible to run applications on somebody else's computer, but where the owner of the computer can't influence or observe what's happening. It sounds kind of weird, I know. But this can be achieved through the deployment of technology that has no reliance on human intervention. And that's really what we're talking about when we're talking about confidential computing and what we're talking about when we look at what's the next gen of security protection for organizations. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, the genesis of all this is as we've moved to cloud, companies have had to rethink who can access the data and, and how they're able to access the data and why they need to access the data. If you think about some of the biggest threat surfaces inside of an organization, it's often people. Right. And you talked about that with operational assurance, Shelley. But oftentimes the people have the capacity because they're administrators of the systems to also be able to view or extract or take a, you know, take a snapshot of a, an application and the data. And that data can get migrated. You know, it's like anytime you have a PC that's company owned and data has been sent around, oftentimes it's sent around in an application. But, uh, you know, we often say, hey, let's download this CSV. We want to manipulate this data, play with this data. Well, all of a sudden this data is no longer in the secured environment. It's now right. on someone's machine. Right. Um, and administrators often have no reason to need to look at data, especially if you think about in some highly, uh, you know, uh, regulated type spaces where you have things like, credit card and financial data, you have right. uh, HIPAA type data. And so we've had to build more hardened systems. Um, but, you know, confidential computing as a whole, um, you know, I guess we've talked around it a lot, but it really comes down to the ability to protect data in all kind of all three states, right? right. You've got data at rest, you got data in transit. And we've gotten pretty good at that in terms of protecting it. But what about when data is being used in an application and being able to manage it in all three states? Um, that's a pretty big problem.